Greetings to you all. Today we've set our sights on a special mission, a mission that involves shining a spotlight on an incredible group of individuals, our seniors. As we cast our gaze upon these extraordinary people, we find ourselves filled with a profound sense of admiration and gratitude. Each wrinkle, each line narrates a story of wisdom, tenacity, and courage of our older generation. Our intention today is not just to sing praises of sing praises of their long journey on this earth, their remarkable achievements, but to address an aspect that often escapes our notice, strength training for seniors. This topic, often associated with the youth, today steps into the limelight as we attempt to shift our focus towards the older and equally deserving generation. Let's clarify, this isn't just a segment or a filler episode, it's a mission, a dedicated commitment. Our goal is to shatter myths, unravel stereotypes, and challenge the flawed perception that age is an obstruction, a barrier, or a limitation. Contrarily, we firmly, we firmly believe that age is a celebration of life, a testament of the journey traveled, a symbol of resilience, and thus, should be cherished and not shied away from. You might be wondering, why strength training? Why not other forms of fitness, the yet layered? When it comes to seniors, strength training expands beyond the simplicity of muscle building. It covers a spectrum way broader than just the physical realm. It infiltrates the psychological territories, contributing to a complete, well-rounded approach to health and well-being. Strength training for our seniors resonates powerfully with the sentiment of independence, of self-reliance. Physical strength in their context isn't just about looking robust or outdoing others, it's about preserving their mobility, their ability to lead their lives with little to no dependence on others. Strength training for them isn't merely a fitness regime, instead, it's a testament to their autonomous spirit. It doesn't end there. Strength training for seniors translates than just a safety net against injuries. It's an affirmative step towards promoting and defending a longer, healthier life. It's about enriching their twilight years with vitality and exuberance, replacing the conventional images of frailty with those of vigor and gusto. Additionally, strength training acts as a catalyst in reigniting a spark of vitality in our seniors, making them feel alive, dynamic, and engaged. The initiative is designed to help them rediscover the magic of regular exercise in maintaining an equilibrium between their physical health and mental well-being. For we strongly believe physical fitness is the cornerstone to a sound mental state. In this extensive segment, we will introduce you to a plethora of exercises, each meticulously crafted to enhance strength and flexibility. These exercises aren't a one-size-fits-all potion. Instead, they cater to various fitness levels and can be customized to suit individual needs and capabilities. From resistance training using bands to light weightlifting, from yoga poses to Pilates, we've curated a broad, a broad spectrum of exercises for everyone to reap benefits from. We've taken extra care to ensure that these exercises are not just effective, but enjoyable. After all, what's the point of exercise if it feels like a drudgery? As we delve deeper into this topic, we'll explore simple workout routines that can be carried out within the comfort of your home. Not everyone has access to a gym or workout equipment, so we've ensured that the majority of our recommended exercises require minimal gear. We also understand that there are seniors who prefer the gym environment, the machines, the community. We've got you covered as well, as we'll touch on routines that can be performed in a gym setting under the guidance of trained professionals. In designing these workouts, we've considered the physical abilities and limitations that come with aging. Our goal is not to overwhelm, but to challenge. We aspire to encourage them to push their boundaries while prioritizing safety above all else. Speaking of safety, we cannot stress enough its importance. Our topmost priority is to ensure that every exercise is performed with the correct form, utmost safety, and under expert supervision. Alongside the physical aspect of strength training, we'll delve into the significance of nutrition for seniors. We'll cover the role that a balanced diet can play in supporting exercise and recovery. We'll share tips on the on the right kind of foods to fuel workouts, maintain energy levels, and aid recovery post-workout. So buckle up and get ready to redefine the concept of aging. This journey is not about letting age define you. It's about you defining age. Let's embark on this adventure of strength and vitality together. Share your... Welcome back, everyone. Now that we have set the stage for this empowering journey, it's time to delve deeper into the heart of the matter. In this segment, we will get into the nitty gritty of why strength training is essential for seniors and how it contributes to their overall well-being. Strength training, often associated with bodybuilders and athletes, is not limited to just these groups. In fact, it holds immense benefits for seniors as well. As we age, our body undergoes several changes. 
muscles tend to lose their mass and strength, a process known as sarcopenia. This decline can lead to weakness, frailty, and an increased risk of falls and injuries. But here's the good news. Strength training can help reverse this process, aiding in muscle growth and increased strength, even in your golden years. Let's talk about bone health. Osteoporosis, a condition that causes bones to become weak and brittle, is a common concern among seniors. Regular strength training exercises can increase bone density and reduce the risk of fractures. It's like adding insurance to your skeletal system. Now on to the mental health benefits. Strength training is not just about physical strength, it has a profound impact on mental well-being too. Regular workouts release endorphins, the body's natural mood boosters. This can help combat feelings of depression and anxiety, enhance mood, boost self-esteem, and even improve sleep quality. But the benefits don't stop there. Strength training also contributes to better brain health. Studies have shown that it can improve cognitive function, enhance memory, and even help delay the onset of dementia. It's like a workout for your brain. Strength training is also about independence. It allows seniors to maintain their ability to perform everyday tasks, like carrying groceries, climbing stairs, or even getting up from a chair without assistance. This autonomy can greatly enhance one's quality of life and confidence. Lastly, one of the most significant benefits of strength training is its role in injury prevention. By strengthening muscles and improving balance, it reduces the risk of falls, a leading cause of injury in seniors. It's about making your body resilient to potential injuries. In a nutshell, strength training for seniors is about promoting a healthier, more active, and independent lifestyle. Remember, it's never too late to start. Your body and mind will thank you for it. In the next segment, we'll dive into some practical, easy to follow strength training exercises that you can incorporate into your routine. So stay tuned. Welcome back folks. After understanding the science behind strength training for seniors, it's time to roll up your sleeves and get moving. In this segment, we are going to introduce some effective senior friendly strength training exercises that you can easily incorporate into your daily routine right from the comfort of your own home. For each exercise, we'll provide a step-by-step -step guide along with some visual demonstrations to ensure you're doing it right. Always remember, it's not about speed or repetition, but about form and consistency. Let's get started. First up is the chair squat. This exercise is fantastic for strengthening your lower body, particularly your quadriceps, hamstrings, and glutes. It also helps improve balance and coordination, reducing the risk of falls. To do this, stand in front of a chair, extend your arms, lower your body until you lightly touch the chair, then stand back up. Repeat this 10, 15 times. Next, we have the wall push-up. This exercise targets the upper body, specifically the arms, chest, and shoulders. It also engages your core, enhancing stability. Stand at arm's length from a wall, place your hands on the wall at chest level, then lean towards it, bending your elbows. Push back to the starting position and repeat 10, 15 times. Our third exercise is the leg lift. This is excellent for your lower body, particularly for strengthening your hip and thigh muscles. Stand behind a chair for support, slowly lift one leg to the side, then lower it back down. Repeat this 10, 15 times, then switch to the other leg. Last but not least, the bicep curl. This exercise is great for strengthening your arms and improving grip strength, essential for daily tasks like opening jars or carrying groceries. Sit or stand with a light weight in each hand. Slowly bend your elbow to lift the weight towards your shoulder, then lower it back down. Repeat this 10, 15 times. Remember, these exercises are not a one-size-fits-all solution. Always listen to your body and adjust as needed. If you're new to strength training, it's a good idea to start slowly and gradually increase the intensity. And as always, it's important to consult with your healthcare provider before starting any new exercise regimen. That's all for this segment. Keep tuning in as we continue to explore more ways to help you stay fit, active, and independent. Stay strong. Welcome back. Now that we've covered some basic strength training exercises, it's crucial to discuss safety measures to ensure you stay injury free and enjoy a smooth fitness journey. So let's dive in. First and foremost, always warm up before you start your strength training routine. This can be a simple five minute walk or a light stretching session to prepare your muscles for the workout ahead and reduce the risk of injuries. Next, maintain a proper form. Incorrect form not only diminishes the effectiveness of the exercise, but also increases the risk of strains or sprains. If you're unsure about your form, consider seeking guidance from a fitness professional. Another common mistake to avoid is overdoing it. Remember, it's not about how many reps you can do, but about doing them correctly and consistently. 
Start with light weights or even body weight exercises, gradually increasing the intensity as your strength improves. Also, it's crucial to breathe correctly during your workouts. A general rule of thumb is to exhale on the effort and inhale on the release. Holding your breath can cause a sudden spike in blood pressure. Don't forget about rest and recovery. Your muscles need time to repair and grow stronger. So, make sure to include rest days in your workout schedule and get enough sleep. Lastly, listen to your body. If you feel any discomfort or pain during an exercise, stop immediately. It's always better to be safe than sorry. Remember, your safety is paramount. It's important to consult with your healthcare provider before starting any new exercise regimen, especially if you have any pre-existing conditions or concerns. And there you have it. Some essential safety tips and common mistakes to avoid when embarking on your strength training journey. In our next segment, we'll discuss how to keep your workouts interesting and stay motivated. Stay tuned. Welcome back, dear viewers. After learning about the importance of safety and strength training, let's shift our focus to the real life impact of these exercises. In this segment, we will share some inspiring success stories from seniors who have reaped the incredible benefits of strength training. Our first story is about Martha, a 70 year old woman who started strength training two years ago. Martha was diagnosed with osteoporosis, but rather than letting this define her, she decided to take control of her health. She began strength training under the guidance of a fitness professional and has seen phenomenal improvements. Not only has her bone density increased, but she also shares that her energy levels have improved dramatically. She's now able to spend more active time with her grandchildren and even participates in local 5K races. Next, we have the story of Jack, a 75-year-old retired firefighter. Jack had been living with chronic knee pain for years before he discovered strength training. After incorporating targeted exercises into his routine, Jack noticed a significant decrease in his knee pain. The strengthening of the muscles around his knee joint provided better support and reduced the strain on his knees. Today, Jack lives a pain-free life and enjoys regular hiking trips with his friends. Lastly, let's hear from Susan, an 80-year-old former ballerina who was struggling with balance issues. Susan was worried about falls and was losing her confidence until she found strength training. With a regimen focusing on core strength and stability exercises, Susan regained her balance and confidence. She even returned to her love of dance and now teaches a weekly ballet class for fellow seniors. These stories highlight the transformative power of strength training for seniors. It's not just about physical strength, but also about improving the overall quality of life, boosting confidence and maintaining independence. Remember, it's never too late to start and every little step counts towards a healthier, stronger you. In our next segment, we will discuss how to keep your workouts interesting and stay motivated on your fitness journey. Stay tuned.